When we started thinking about the overall philosophy of our department, we wanted some sort of a, a tangible metaphor to use that would give us an idea of how we were going to approach such a big, vast um, uh, goal of, of trying to bring a performance culture here. So I think when you're, when you're looking at sports science in general, we thought of it very much as trying to paint a picture. You know, we're artists that are trying to create a very vivid picture of where the players are from one moment to the next. You know, if we're going to paint a picture, then how many colors do we want to use? And what are those colors exactly? And are we, in, are we aligning ourselves with companies and products that will, will provide the most vivid picture possible for where the players are from one day to the next? So the way that we go about it is using Statsports Apex, using cognitive assessments, using other forms of methodology in order to help create an understanding of our athletes. By doing so, we can really understand how everything relates to performance and how we can improve injury. I think at the start of every season, we want to obviously assess with our returning players exactly how well we've progressed them as athletes. With our new players, we want to decide what type of athletic abilities are they coming to us with, no matter who the player is, how long they've been with us. As we start to, to use those tools effectively, it sets the stage for how we're going to progress those players at that point. We want to be able to look at short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals for those players, and a, and a lot of them a lot of them will change as the season progresses. You know, injuries in the middle of the season might change that. But what you want to know is, do I have baseline measure that's going to tell me something about who the player is at their best? And I think that's the starting point. We want to make sure that in the off season, the players have been com compliant with the, with the tools that we've given them. And we want them to maintain a very, very realistic base so that when we come into camp, we know exactly what we're dealing with with each player. Uh, there's not a lot of time in preseason anymore. And, and when they arrive day one, you know, we want to be confident that each and every one of them can tolerate the, the intensity of our preseasons. Every week we have a set plan of how we want to go about our training sessions. So whether we want to focus on larger pitch size, we may want to focus more on high speed running or sprint distance. Using that kind of information, we can use Statsports Apex and look live and make sure we're hitting the targets that we need each and every day. Dave, 45 for our D DSL, uh, 34 for accelerations, and then 13 for decels. It's really about combining all those tools together and, and deciding what picture they're painting for you. For example, for us, if we're going to use GPS as an example, we want to know that if we combine metrics together, in other words, if we're running training sessions that we know are, are, are fairly consistent from one week to the next, or fairly consistent uh, from one phase to the next, then I want to know that the relationship between two particular metrics is maintaining a shooting ratio. If that ratio is changing, then we have to assume that the player is tolerating those exercises differently than they were previously. If you don't have some sort of a system that's providing some checks and balances, then that becomes really, really difficult. And for us, um, we use very, very specific metrics and we use very specific tests. We'll use submaximal fatigue tests throughout the year, uh, and that's a good example of that. So if I've got a very set protocol. Uh, we use a we use a warm-up based protocol for for our test, and I can run those players through a very very repeatable test. I can look at heart rate recovery scores. I can look at peak peak heart rate scores and, and cardiovascular exertion scores. And if those don't align with our baseline measures, then I know that something's gone awry. Uh, it could be that they're improving fitness wise, and, and obviously that's a great mark. That's something that you want to see. Um, but that's a, that's a small example of, of one piece of the puzzle. And, and throughout the year, you have to have more than one piece or else um, you know, you'll be blindsided by some issues. So we try to combine several uh, in combination with something like our submaximal fatigue test. Um, and when you can record good data like we can with, with Apex, then those tests become more and more valuable. When we even focus more on using tighter pitches in, in a very intensive session, we may want to see more explosive distance, or we might even want to see a higher load in HML. Using these kinds of metrics live, it helps us to pinpoint each and every training session right to the load that we needed every day. When I left 
for Everton, I would have to say there's only about four fitness coaches, full-time fitness coaches in the league at that point. The, the one question I get asked quite a bit is, you know, did I feel like there's a difference in the quality of the practitioners from one league to the next? And I'll have to say that that's not the case. You know, with it, there's a very, very intelligent, bright sports scientists and performance coaches in MLS. Uh, I think it's the strength uh, of, of those departments within the league. The resources might be different from one team to the next when you compare it to the Premier League, but there's many teams in MLS that are financially uh, spending a lot of money to support performance within these clubs. And I think the, uh, the money is well spent because the practitioners are qualified practitioners, good quality individuals that are here looking after players. So I'd say the, the biggest change was that uh, teams just started to address the fact that we needed more performance coaches in the league to protect our assets. And, I, and, and it's been, a, it's been a, a quick change. Five years isn't a long period of time. And for the, for the teams to recognize that difference that quickly uh, and then be able to identify quality people in that short period of time is, is, is a big testament to where the league is at.